Hello, Aloha, dudes! It's late. We've been vlogging all day today. We wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about Hawaii and what we've learned so far after living here for nine months since we constantly get questions from you guys about what life is like here. Yeah, we get people asking all the time like, hey, I'm kind of tossing around the idea of moving to Hawaii. What do you think? Like, should I do it? Or what's it like? What's the pros and cons? So we made a list of some yes. things that we just thought of off the top of our heads. The good, bad, the yes. ugly. I think the first thing and obvious thing that I want to mention is you guys should hit the like button. Um, <laughs> Thank you for your support, really. It means a lot to us. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe and the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our awesome videos coming your way. We really appreciate you guys. Okay, but let me just say this. Everything's expensive. Just about everything. I'm talking everything. groceries, I'm talking houses. Our utilities in Springfield, Missouri were about $50 a month. Which okay? is really low, like we knew that. Which is super low. But our utilities here, 127 for um, the last month. We live and in we a 500, 500 square foot, foot apartment. Oh. We're in a smaller place and we have have no AC, yet our utility bill almost tripled. We assumed that fruit was gonna be cheap here. Uh, no, it's like $9 sometimes for a thing of strawberries, but if you wanna get cheaper produce, usually like a farmer's market is a way to go. Yeah. But I think that brings us to our next point, which I don't know if that one's next on our list. Because everything's so expensive, you realize you don't need a lot to get by. I think that's so cool because people here in Hawaii, they value people, they value nature, they value experiences. They're not big on having big fancy homes. So you just choose to make other things a priority and that's really cool. Yeah, and I've noticed like a lot for like the women specifically, people don't get their nails done as much. They don't do their hair really. Like yeah. they don't worry about their clothes, makeup, like shoes. None of that really matters. Heck, most of the time people aren't even wearing shoes here. Yeah, so, people don't wear shoes. <laughs> people, I love that the grocery store is full of people without shirts on. I walked in the store the other day without a shirt on because people do that all the time and no one said anything because you don't need to wear shoes or a shirt inside of like a lot of the grocery stores it's not a, it's not a worry it's not a care no one's comparing each other in that way and so i think that's really cool thing number three i would say everything rusts like crazy if you like live on the crazy. beach like we live right by the ocean so cars are rusting and like our freaking refrigerator is rusting every appliance you're gonna have to replace like every two to three years with rust also comes mold too yes i mean I mean, not that they come together, but like kind of come at the same time. Yeah, we've had a little bit of mold in our house. I think it's not been like a big issue. A lot of rust, we just a little keep, mold. We have our windows open at all times because we do not have AC. The sea salt. Oh my gosh, like your car just gets wrecked. We almost bought a, like an, a nicer car here and our landlord talked us out of it. So she talked glad us. She did. <laughs> yes, so thank you to our landlord for doing that because we went for something that was a lot more affordable. Because like the interiors of them just get rusted out and they're not drivable. And the sand. <laughs> our car is always full of sand. It gets everywhere you our go to house the beach. is just has sand and dirt covering the floors you gotta clean a lot if we ever buy a house here it'd probably be inland yeah. because the houses inland are not only a lot more affordable you get a lot more bang for your buck you're not dealing with sea salt and rust and all the things that you have here by the ocean because the ocean just takes a freaking yeah, toll it makes everything, on everything feel so damp and that was something that took me a long time to adjust to because i would get in yes. bed and my sheets would be like kind of damp the f you can see our footprints on the floor because it's moist like the the ground is moist. Seriously. Okay, the next, next, next thing, thing, if you live in the North Shore like we do, everything is so far away. So far. Like I'm talking groceries, if you want to make an appointment like at the DMV, all like around an hour or so yeah. away. Yeah, we try to limit our days in town because it's just a lot of driving. It's nice being out here. There's not as many people on the North Shore. You can just feel like you are actually on an island, like this tropical, beautiful it's paradise. And you'll see signs all along this area that say like, keep, keep the, the country, country, country. There's like this, this own culture up here. It's nice being away from the city. Cause when yes. you're in downtown Honolulu, it doesn't feel like Hawaii. It just feels like another big city. The environment here is just incredible. The sunshine, the sunset. So many rainbows. <gasps> so many You rainbows. see a rainbow like every other day. It's beautiful. All the plants, like we're literally living in like a lush, jungle area yeah. and it's just so beautiful the ocean's so beautiful the sandy beaches are great it's the best most so beautiful pretty. place to live it's like a dream the most gorgeous tropical yeah. paradise oh there's a doggy that's something we can talk about there's like little yeah. to no privacy oh yeah actually that's a great <laughs> let's bring up that point here in hawaii because 
everything's so expensive, you gotta shove all these houses together. So like, there's very little privacy. So sometimes we'll just be like chilling in our bedroom, we can hear our and neighbors then we'll talking. hear our neighbors talking. We'll Plain hear full conversations. Little to no privacy, even in your own bedroom. Back to when we were talking about how everything's so far away. If you do have to go to town, traffic is oh my god doozy. I mean, there's just always gonna be yeah. traffic basically, or road work that's congesting the, the road. Mm -hmm. Then also when you get down to town, parking can be bad and oh. expensive. We're from Missouri where you basically don't ever, I've never hardly paid for parking unless yeah. I was traveling. And now here I'm like, wow, paying for parking, that blows, yeah. but. <laughs> for Valentine's Day, we stayed at Hilton. Hilton Waikoloa, or the Hilton Hawaiian Village. Parking there was $50. You can find different spots though that are like, cheap or free if you like really search for it and so sometimes i'll just find a, a free spot like far from where my destination is and i'll just walk next thing on our list guys shipping you'd think oh well you could just have amazon prime and you have two-day shipping right psych boy psych boy it's two weeks i don't know why it always and says that a lot of times it'll be like a website will say free shipping and it'll be like i'll type in our address and i'll be like Oh, never mind. Not for you. We're impatient. We want stuff now, but here on the island, it's slower. Life is calmer. You've got the spirit of aloha. Just like so many nice people. I think that was one of the big. Yeah, that's on our us. list. Actually, is yeah. that everyone here has been so nice. They're so welcoming and just like they want to teach you about their culture. They mm -hmm. want you to know about it and appreciate it like yeah. they do and respect it. So we will go on walks around our neighborhood and like everyone will just. Hi, how are you? Like all these things, and yeah. then we'll pass them again. They'll be like, "Hi again," and they're yeah. just so sweet. I think this is the biggest drawback for me. Sometimes when you're just on a little island in the middle of the Pacific, you realize how far you are from your friends and family back at yeah. home. So that's a big bummer. Like obviously, that's gonna be an issue if someone moves anywhere far away. You're so far. You're ocean away. You mm -hmm. feel that. And it's kind of like I get homesick or I just miss people a lot sometimes. Yeah. And if you call them, there's a big time zone change. Oh, the time change stinks. <laughs> Calling my parents at like, say, noon here, it's 5 o'clock for them. Something else, you don't need a whole lot to have fun. You can kind of just use oh, what you have. Yeah. Okay, so like... Sometimes you'll see like tourists come and they'll have like all this fancy hiking gear to do their hikes. It's so funny because local people like don't give a rip. You don't need all this fancy stuff yeah. to enjoy the island and to have fun. And a lot of the people here will buy stuff used. People that are military on the island that will leave and sell their stuff really cheap so you can buy things on like Facebook Marketplace for cheap. Leads okay. me to my What's next, next one, one, which is that surfing is really hard. It is hard, you guys. It <laughs> looks really easy. You're like, oh, I could do that. I can skateboard, psych. You have to paddle out there and then you have to have a lot of factors to time it out for it to mm -hmm. work. Like timing the wave, paddling right, like all these things. Surfing can also be a little painful because there are jellyfish and those stings can hurt, man. Yep. You didn't see that vlog. Go, Go check watch it out. that vlog if you didn't see it already. Well, that goes also for reef that's really sharp, rocks sharks there's risks when you go out in the ocean and that brings us to our next point which is the ocean is scary the ocean kind of does freak me out still <laughs> i love it and i love it from the beach the currents are strong yeah there's sea life that's a little freaky and foreign even if like a leaf touches me i'm like what's that well, okay <laughs> here's the deal like you don't need to be worried about sharks the chances of you getting bit by a shark like not even dying but just getting bit are like crazy crazy I'm low. Not worried about sharks. you're like more likely to get to die by getting hit by a coconut like it's so stupid actually the current like pulling out to sea and you drowning or you getting sucked under somewhere and hitting your head I'm with a coral so you just want to be aware of just like where you're at be aware of your surroundings be aware of be with the, people yeah, out in the water. Don't, don't go by, by yourself. yourself. Then, Which leads us to one of the massive pros of Hawaii is that it's so easy to be super active because yes. the weather is always nice. It's always like not too hot, not too cold. Like it's perfect temperature. There's good breezes and there's so much to do. You want to just be out of your house and just surfing, doing fun stuff. We go hiking. We're always on the move. Everyone here leads a very active lifestyle too, so it encourages you, inspires yeah. you to do the same thing. Hawaii is yeah. just great for the people that love to be active and love to be outside. Something I wanted to touch on in Hawaii, booty suits are welcome. Welcome, <laughs> yes. Everyone has a booty and people like to show them off here. There's a different culture. When you culture. come to Hawaii, 
I have never been more accepting of my own body, basically. Everyone here embraces their body and mm -hmm. no one feels like they need to have like the perfect body or like all these things to just wear a bikini and just rock it on the beach. I don't know, I don't feel like promiscuous when I'm in a bikini or anything like that here. Like it's just normal. Like it's yeah. just normal to like it's like, like you just, just being you, just you just being be you. Chill. You just go to the You're just wearing your suit, you're just at the beach. You go to the beach in a swimsuit. It's that simple and no one's out here judging. Don't let any insecurity stop you from doing what you want to do in your own skin. And the last thing we want to say about Hawaii is the spirit of aloha is such a real thing. <laughs> People are so kind and you can just feel it when you're here. You can just feel this happiness and this joy and just this acceptance of yourself and others in the community that you're in. Oh my gosh, I just like walk outside and I'll look up and I'll just see these beautiful mountains like right by our house. And you look out and there's the, the beach and, and palm trees and it's just, it's such a magical, wonderful, beautiful place. Harmony. Yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll like live here forever. You have, you have, we have no idea. Hawaii is definitely not for every type of person. For the people that it is for, it's like the best playground to live in. For a lot of people, Hawaii is just an awesome vacation spot, and that's just what it is, and that's great. For the people that it is for, like for a full time type of deal, like just take the leap. If you're in the place where you can take the leap. Do yeah. it because like you'll only regret if you didn't try we're loving it so much mm. so far despite all the things that we said about it like yeah. the pros definitely are outweighing the cons and we're having such yeah. a magical time and i feel so blessed that we're in a place in our life where we can do this it's all such a blessing and i feel so thankful and you guys are a major part of that so thank you so much if you haven't until already hit that like button and the subscribe button it really means a lot to us and as always peace, peace out dudes, dudes. Shoot. <laughs>